Yo, what's up, guys? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me and Marty today training legs. Gonna do them squats. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, it's gonna be a good workout. We're doing squats, deadlifts, lunges, you name it, everything. But we're gonna go for power. I don't, Marty might be doing something different, but trust me, we're gonna build a lot of power today. Hopefully, 100 key. I know my legs aren't the best, but they're gonna get there hopefully one day. But hopefully, I'll get 100 key for a few reps and. Then we'll have a good workout, innit? Anything mm. might. Nah, no, I think I'm just gonna follow around for him. Plan for today. Yeah. Just but test the strength. Yeah. <laughs> Testing the strength. <laughs> but one thing, for well, I noticed it, is that pe people talk a lot about squat numbers. It doesn't really matter how much you squat at the start. Everybody's, everybody starts somewhere. So don't take it as like a bad thing. I'm squatting light, I'm squatting 40 key. So just squat how much you want. Over time, you will build up strength. If you start on 40 key, you'll get to 100 key in, in, in no time at all. But if you start on 80 key and you can't squat it for shit and you're doing half bitch reps, <laughs> they're not going to get anywhere. Did, Marty does bitch reps. Look at them, <laughs> look at them legs. Yo, yo, that, 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 <laughs> yeah, but hopefully we have a good workout and hopefully you guys like the video. See you in a few minutes. <laughs> yo, what's up guys? Still training legs. Ha. I know you lot are thinking, why is this guy wearing joggers and training legs? I can't wear shorts, I've got that deadly disease, you know, no car syndrome. <laughs> yeah, today we're training legs, it's good to start off on uh, on the bar, to just get the blood into the muscle, get your legs pumping and just get ready for the workout, because it's pretty cold now, it's winter, and there's no blood in your muscles and your joints are pretty damn stiff. As you see here, one of the reps, I like sit in it and stay down on the floor. It's good to stretch out all your quads, your glutes, and your arms just like ready for your set, just to like... Keep yourself ready because if you're stiff, you're gonna get more chance of getting an injury, and you'll feel a bit, you'll feel a bit off. And you don't want to get injured because every bodybuilder says it's better to avoid injury rather than get him and try to get rid of him. And now you see, I'm going to 60s. You know, it's lightweight. It's what we can do. Everybody has to start somewhere. Everybody, I haven't got the strongest legs ever, but hopefully one day I'll get the, uh, my legs will improve. As you can see here, I'm going quite low. I'm getting lower with every rep. It's just. It's just getting warm and you need to get the blood back in the muscle. Still 60s is pretty light for me, but I need to get the blood into the muscle and get myself ready for my further sets. Now I'm gonna leave you with water. Oh, yeah. 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 Hello motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, come on. I'm gonna have two drugs if you want to do that. You can put a crop. I'm not. 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 i i I couldn't raise that arm from the next Alright guys, yo what's up? Alright, so I moved it up to 80 key for another for another set of 10 and uh, it was feeling quite heavy to be honest, it was feeling heavier than normal, it's our second leg workout this week so it's only been like 4 days as well so uh, I wasn't surprised but I was kind of kind of felt bad but everybody has the bad workouts, everybody's good workouts but you know the next time you hit it you're gonna have a million times a better workout. That's that's what's enjoyable about having a bad workout. You're gonna you know for sure the next workout's gonna be out of the world. And you see here that I did a corn on stomp, it's like you stomp on the floor as hard as you can. And it just it really like grounds you, it makes you feel better, it makes you feel it gives you that warrior feeling, you feel like <laughs> you feel like a caveman, you feel like a warrior. So you guys might you guys try it, you might like it, I don't know. And here you see Matty coming on to <laughs> three plates. I'll leave you with this. To be honest, my 100 set didn't really go as well as planned. 
I like I did a kind of good morning muscle reps which weren't very good as you can see here I've completely failed on my AE key oh, and but it's good everybody has to fail you have to fail if you train to failure you're gonna build a lot of muscle if you don't train to failure I don't believe that you build muscle I think it's the best way from my perspective that you build muscle obviously sometimes you, ca you can't train to failure for every single set and every single rep because you're just gonna feel horrible in the workout if that works for you it works for you but it doesn't work for me so I'd train three sets, one warm up set, two a second working set and a third set you train heavy and go to failure. But sometimes you could even train five sets and have two working sets, which works as well. Here we move on to some straight leg deadlifts. It's a pretty good exercise and I've tried out a new technique that that guy in the gym told me and it's pretty good. You guys should test it out. I like it a lot more than what I've been doing. It's kind of you kinda of stay in one short motion you don't really go past past your knees so you just completely isolate the hamstrings and absolutely murder them there is nothing left on those hamstrings mine were on fire <laughs> yeah but it's a pretty good exercise and Matt is doing conventional deadlifts which are pretty good as well if you like them um, they, they won't hit your hamstrings as much they'll be they'll be a bit in your back and a bit in your quads and your, uh, in your glutes but uh, I prefer straight leg because my hands are like non-existent Car sounds not happening, man. Anyway, so then we moved on to some uh, leg extensions. These are pretty good exercises to get that bodybuilding like aspect in there. Get it, and these, if you squeeze at the top, make sure you squeeze at the top of every rep and really get that teardrop out in your quad. And that teardrop just looks beautiful. Now we're hitting the stack heavyweights here, man. We don't fuck about. <laughs> yeah, my quads are probably my strongest part of my legs. I don't know. I'm quite gifted in my quads. I can do leg extensions quite heavy, but. Hamstring curls, I'm not the strongest, and squats, as you've seen, I'm not the best. But hopefully, we get there. Everybody like has to move up. Everybody has a strong point. Everybody has weak points. See me getting zoned in, chatting away. You should be talking in the gym. <laughs> but yeah, all in all, it was a pretty good workout. I didn't really get everything that I wanted in, but I learned something brand new, and it was pretty damn good. Yeah, it was a pretty good workout. So yeah. Oh. One thing would be nice, if anybody knows any good songs that they like, because I'm quite scarce for songs to be honest, I don't really, I can't really think of any that are coming to mind that I can listen to in the gym, I'm kind of listening to the same ones on repeat, it's going to get boring. So if you know any good songs, comment in the section, comment section below, like, subscribe, you know, all that shit, and uh, yeah, come watch my next video next Friday, you're going to love that one. Anyway, catch you next time in the next video, whatever you guys want, give us a shout, and we'll see you later. Right, see you guys.